Instagram and Snapchat stories, they all come in different shapes and sizes. Pressing that red circle is the equivalent of playing slots or opening up a loot box. You don't know what you're gonna get. Man, this thumbnail is crazy, hold on. What the f***, bro? <laughs> Goonin' ass thumbnail, bro. Goonin' ass thumbnail. Someone could be showing off their gym technique, what they're eating, what concert they attended, how good their look is, how experienced they are at taking care of senior citizens, or just a classic first trap. But which one is the best? That question remains unanswered, but let me tell you, there is a right answer, and although no one asked, I'm here to answer it. I'm here to answer it. First up, we have what I like to call the Method Man. These are the stories of people telling you to tap in. Hit my DM if you want to make some bread. Because they think they have found a glitch in life which grants them access to unlimited wealth. And if Y'all Forex dudes used to piss me off, bro. Y'all Forex dudes used to piss me the off, bro. God, man, listen. If you want financial freedom now, hit my line up, bro. We're going to go to this class tomorrow. You know, all y'all trying to be funny. But you need to get your money up before you get your funny up, bro. Like, God, hate Forex dudes. Of course, they're so selfless that they're willing to share with you an opportunity to eat at the same table. But the chance of any of this being legal is around, I don't know, 30%, give or take. These guys will probably ask you to download some obscure app or maybe just share a bit of your personal info. Or they'll just tell you to download Telegram. I'll just say that this is the same mindset that got people to do the PPP loan scams and we can clearly see where that has landed them. You're honestly just better off trading some Tesla puts on Robinhood. I rate this one an E tier. And I just realized <laughs> that I haven't explained the tiers. S tier are for the ones that mentally touch you, sort of like dopamine. A tier is for the ones that you're glad you saw. B tier is for when you think it's nice. It's cool, you know? It's a high. C tier is pretty self-explanatory. D tier are for the ones that you don't really care about. You kind of just look at it, you're like, ah, I guess, you know, who cares? No one cares. I don't care. And E tier is for when you feel like your time has truly been wasted and you want the posters to follow a simple six word instruction. You should kill yourself. Now Yo, look at look at Drake, bruh. <laughs> Fruity ass. I call this one the OOTD because it's usually someone showing off their outfit of the day. It will either be a picture or video, but the video Ashley version seem to be a rarity and that's probably because you can't edit a video like you can a picture. Nine times out of ten there will be a girl posting the story and best believe I'm not going to be the first to start complaining about it. The location of the mirror is what truly brings some variety to the story. It will either be the bedroom, bathroom or public bathroom mirror and for the most part the dirty ass mirror. Look at this mirror chat. Look at this <laughs> dirty ass mirror. What the fuck? These are the standard options. You can of course spice things up by using different mirrors or any reflective surface. But the true selling point of this story is the potential to gatekeep when an unexpected victim eventually asks you where they can also buy a piece of your outfit. And if you've seen my gatekeeping video, you know exactly why this is very important. I'll put mirror selfies at a B tier. Dear Diary is essentially when someone posts a long ass paragraph, usually with a black background to convey how serious the person was when they made the post. Holy shit you guys, I am so serious right now. You think you're serious? Dude, my face is- Yeah, these, these annoy me. Cause half the time bro, you trying to get some personal shit off. That uh, whatchamacallit, that is literally directed at one person. But you just want to throw shade out in the public to your- the 200 people that's gonna watch your story, bro. Like, all right, all right, bro. If you don't just hit up that person, what the fuck? This is so fucking serious right now. You should see my serious face. The person will usually be letting some things off their chest, such as confessing, apologizing, and things of that nature. The story might be just one or multiple posts. A common theme that you'll notice is that the paragraphs are so fucking long that the letter size has to be decreased for everything to fit on the screen. Usually if someone posts a story like this, it's probably because they don't have the means to communicate this in another way. Probably because they don't have anyone to vent. No lie, I'm a black screen IG story demon. Yo, Osmosis, you're nasty, bro. You're nasty, bro. It be on some, like, low-key shade shit, too. Black screen. Most of y'all do... Most of y'all are doing nothing in y'all lives right now. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, come on, bro. Why are you throwing shade? Like that? Why like that, though? Like, damn. 
to in real life. But ultimately, the question which everyone has when they see a post like this is simply, who the fuck asked? Who asked? You know? <laughs> no one cares. Who asked? I rate this one a D tier. Not something I want to see for both empathetic reasons and selfish reasons. Concerts. Next up, we have concerts. A very common story. It's practically... Oh my god. You know what I hate, chat? You know what I hate? The guy who goes to the concert and has 50 fucking Snapchat stories from that same concert. That shit is so annoying. Three max. You get three stories from the concert you went to. That's it, bro. Because at some point, bro. This this what really, like, really pissed me off about this, bro. I went to the weekend concert. Like two years ago, I think. Arguably the greatest concert I've ever been to. Except for the fact that the dude next to me. I kid you not. First of all, W Mirror Force. Was just like this the whole time. Look down there and there. I'm saying just check if the angle's good. or I, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Would just be like this the whole time. And I'm just like, bro. What is the point? What is the point? Are you going to re-watch this video that you're taking tomorrow? Are you going to... Like, how many how many followers do you have on Instagram? And even if you do have a shit ton of followers on Instagram, what the fuck is uploading a bunch of stories that's going to get you, let's just say, 300 max who's doing for you? What does that do, bro? What does that do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So you just spent a shit ton of money to go to this concert. You didn't enjoy the moment as it was happening. Just for you to take videos that you're barely probably going to rewatch? Like, come on, bro. What are we doing? What are we doing? I rarely revisit concert videos just sitting in the gallery. It It is nice just to see, like, specifically if there's a big artist in town, like, who you know went to that concert. That's it. That's literally all I need to know. Oh shit. Uh Jenna went to the concert. Like type shit. Like that's that's all I need to know. Oh shit. Keep on keep on going through the stories. Oh. Oh word. Justin went to the uh to the concert too. That that's all I need to know, bro. I don't need to I I don't need to see what's your favorite moment. And, and you singing in the background too off pitch. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ready? Classroom from me, classroom from me. Post Malone. <laughs> but here's the one thing which I don't understand. Why do people feel the need to record a video when they're standing so far away and you can barely see or hear a thing? At that point, you're better off just posting a picture rather than multiple videos. This story is truly the definition of default for the most part, but occasionally you might stumble upon a rare event which might be worth recording. That's right. I give this one, I give this one a C tier, right in the middle. That's, that's D tier for me, most of the time. Most of the time. In a similar vein as their diary, we have the opposite. That was all they wrote. The story is similar, black background and some text, except this time the paragraph is much shorter. So short that what is said simply lacks enough context and requires some more elaboration. You know what? I actually hate this more than the paragraph. The the two liner subliminals on the IG, I actually hate this more than the paragraph, bro. This is the definition of we do not care, bro. Especially if I truly don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We do not care. What? Someone just posted an emoji like a broken heart, a crying face. That's what I'm saying. You're not you're not a celebrity, bro. Like <laughs> Come, <laughs> motherfuckers like that 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 post like this on people that post like this on a story, bro. They think like they're on them some celebrity timing, like they're Drake. Like, I right, if 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 you're you know this would make sense if you're Drake, right? Like you know Kendrick Lamar just dissed you and called you a pedophile, and you gonna hop on your Instagram story, ah. And like people already know what you're referring to because you're fucking Drake. 
But Anthony, I don't know who you got beef with. And I don't care. I don't know who this is for, but I don't care, bro. The shush emoji. Some stories will have one word like sorry or goodbye. Some will simply write a phrase such as I can't do this anymore. But ultimately, it simply lacks more context. Context that nine times out of ten you won't get, which simply leaves you with more questions than answers. Someone who posts a story like this usually has enough self-awareness not to go full dear diary because they know that nobody cares, which is why I rate this one a B tier. It is absolutely a step higher than dear diary. Motivational quote. Next we have motivational quotes. I get the I just don't care. Like I don't I don't see anything problematic with motivational quotes. I just don't care, bro. But if you are posting keep calm quotes, keep calm pictures in 2024, boy, you are ancient. You are old. God damn. Keep calm in 2024? The purpose. I truly understand. And maybe I'm just cynical, but I find these stories annoying. There are three variations of the story. The first is some text laid over an edited stock picture. The second is the famous quote, which most of the time the famous person featured on one of these has not said any of these words. And if it's not any of these two, it would probably be a video with intense music, a black and white filter, and subtitles. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's if no one else is going to say it, let me be the one to say it. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> I appreciate what you're trying to do. I actually don't. I really do. I just lied again. But we don't care. Sorry to say that. I am not sorry to say that. I was thinking of giving this one a we don't care, but I think I'm going to put it on C tier. It's honestly not the end of the world. It's someone simply trying to spread some positivity. But I'm afraid to say that we don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> Here we have the stories of the people who like showing off. Cars, watches, alcohol, boats, designer clothes, money, exotic locations. The poster is essentially telling the world we are not the same. The reason for the story- I like these posts. If you execute it right, if you execute it right, I, I, I like these posts. Is what should truly be explored. Some are gold right. digger chasers, some are trying to make an ex jealous, or some are simply trying to portray someone who they're not. Don't get me wrong, posting a car or a boat isn't necessarily flexing, but we all know the difference between just showing and showing off. And don't get me started on the for motivational purposes only. Just stop, dude. Just show what you're trying to show and keep it pushing. I'll give this one a D tier. Come on, chat. Come on. Next up, we have first traps. First traps are easy on the eyes, to say the least. It's really hard to mess. Yo, this motherfucker is a freakazoid, bro. <laughs> Yo, I know he's getting all of these posts either from his explore page or his following, bro. Freakazoid. <laughs> That's a first Yo, he That's downloading the first these first videos too, just... bro. Yeah, what the look, fuck? I don't want to be mean, okay? But there's just some people who don't know how to properly do this. For those of you who don't know, a first trap is essentially when someone posts something with the purpose of catching attention and first the individuals. It's sort of like a honey I the didn't fuck? want to bundle this category with mirror picks because although mirror picks can be first traps, that's not all they're for. So where would I rate this? I can Milkman alert, by the way, chat. Milkman alert. Can't lie, first traps are top tier stories. I can only count a handful of times where I saw a first trap and I was annoyed by it. So with that being said, I think that this one truly deserves the first S tier of this list. Art stories are pretty good for the most part. Sometimes you see someone posting their drawing and sketches or someone else's artists. creation. It can also be a great way to promote your artists, talents man. if you're looking to take commissions. I can't really think of any mm -hmm. way this story can be bad unless it's like some furry art. And you know, nothing against furries, but to put it simply, ain't nobody trying to see that shit like, no offense, just keep it to yourself. Thank you very much. I give this one a B tier. Cypher posting. posting is what I like to call this next category. This is essentially when someone posts a story which you clearly can't understand why the person posted it in the first place. Why have they posted this? What does it mean? I can't see shit. Oh, the the cryptic nature shit? of the post is no, something which doesn't. only if deciphered can be understood. The truth is that the poster is clearly engaging in some advanced gatekeeping, putting on his best Riddler impression. Although some may find the story pointless, I actually like it depending on the purpose it's serving. Artistic expression, aesthetic, or just bad videography. Yeah, you, you, you really gotta know what you're doing. 
but most of y'all don't. Nobody knows. And that's what makes this story interesting. It's captivating. With that being said, I think I put this in A tier. Weather. <clears throat> Shit getting out of hand now. This is a story of someone showing off the climate wherever they're located, which is also known as the touching grass simulator. The sunset is probably the most common form of this story, but I mean, who doesn't like to see a good sunset? There's a reason why that one girl mad. who you follow yeah, will not stop mad. posting it. However, there are two issues with the story. The first is that most of the time, the picture quality can truly make or break this. And true, secondly, true. this just isn't that original. Dang. It's kind of soulless and you can't really even call this abstract. I think that this one is really mid, honestly, like I don't mind seeing it but the um factor is just not there so i'll give this one a c tier next up we have what i like to call the hottie sugar daddy challenge this is essentially when you see a girl post a story of them interacting with something which is clearly outside the tax bracket or repeatedly engaging in activities which you know she can't afford but the thing which makes the story stand out is that the girl will never well i know some girls man and i know what they do for a job I'm like, bro, what the, what's going on, bro? Who do you know? Who do you know, bro? What the fuck? Never show the person responsible for too. paying for the costs. Who's driving the car? Whose yacht is that? Who took you to Louis Vuitton? Can you please tell that 50 year old man to rekindle his relationship with his children and stop trying to leverage his finances to impress 21 year old girls? These girls are literally old enough to be dating his eldest son. Just stop. This is. I shouldn't have bet my neck like that. That was crazy. That was crazy, y'all. My bad, my bad, man. I gotta, I gotta tell myself out, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. My bad, job. My bad. That was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta take. Hey man. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all caught it, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. I seen, I seen this video Cringe. right here. I'll I went. No, no, no. Hold on. I seen this These video right are... here. I went. <laughs> I went. <laughs> Literally old enough to be dating his eldest son. Just stop. This is cringe. I always find the story to be a weird one because the girl is following the motto of fake it till you make it, but she simply makes it too obvious that she's indeed faking it because you can literally catch her working at Starbucks, but on a story, you Facts. see a double R logo on the car Facts. seat. This story is utter garbage, so you already know where this is going. This is really, really cringe. It's someone bragging about reaping the rewards of someone else's work. Drug plug. This one is simply the new age drug dealer. He'll most likely post all the pounds and ounces he has or insinuate that he indeed has these items for sale. These stories are usually recorded in a car or a room and the flashlight is usually on with multiple close-ups of the product. This could also be a sting operation being orchestrated by the police to catch potential he buyers so just be aware of that. One thing is for sure though, but you'll be told to person, tap in SC. if interested. This is a pretty mid story overall because it's just essentially an advertisement so it gets- Yo, do people even like use these uh, oil pens anymore man this this was the only way i used to smoke weed back in the day chat back in 2018 do people still use this or no bro w drugs <laughs> w drugs is insane bro pens hell yeah look at jabba hell yeah i like them <laughs> And if interested, yeah. this is a pretty mid story. Overall, I used to, I used it's to, just bro, essentially an advertisement, day, so it gets man. a seat here. Occasionally, you catch someone posting some red and green graphs to simply show that they do indeed participate in extracurricular trading. These posts may usually be followed up with some motivation, some music, but one thing is for sure you'll rarely see someone posting at times when they lost their whole portfolio. You'll let me let me see if I can find any of the, the examples he's talking about right now on Instagram. Hold on. Only see the story of someone losing money when they immediately follow it up with when they proceeded to bounce back and hit the jackpot. This will probably also be followed up with some corny quote like, when you don't give up during the dark times. For the most part, this can be seen as a flexing post because you're essentially bragging about beating the odds of the market. And to be fair, good for you, but we still don't care. I give this one a D tier. Uh, next up, we have pets. Cats and dogs clearly carry this category because they may- You know, you know what's low key getting annoying now? It depends on the video, obviously, but IG reels on an IG story. If I wanted to see this, bro, I'm going to let it happen on my For You page. I do not need you 
to recommend me a IG reel, bro. Sorry. Make up the majority of own pets. You may catch a bird or fish here and there, or you'll see some exotic creatures, but overall, pets are pretty cool. So I'll give this one a, a A tier, you know? Nice. This is a tough one to rate. It's probably the hottest one on this list. This is only because the memes that people tend to post in their stories can be so hit or miss. People's humors are too random for us to find any consistency in this category. It's not too often when I watch something which truly makes me laugh, but when I find it funny, I truly find it funny. Due to the quality randomness of this, I can only truly give this a C tier. It's a shame, honestly, but I can't put it any higher on lower than this. Next up, we have gym stories. Let me just start off by saying that it's always good to see someone having the discipline to work out. This story is very common, and it comes in various forms. Most likely, you'll see someone taking a mirror selfie, first strapping, or muscle flexing. They might even put a location tag or a timestamp. More uncommon stories. This dude is a milkman. <laughs> My feature a gym yeah. altercation, someone doing a strange exercise, or the poster filling themselves doing a set. I rate this one a B tier. Actually, on second thought, I'm probably gonna swap this one with pets. I feel like gym stories have a higher potential of being interesting. <laughs> the thing about food story is that no one ever posts a story of bad food, so most of the time it yeah, will be something which looks time, appealing. Yeah. If you cook the food that you're showing, you'll definitely get bonus points. The true potential of this story lies in gatekeeping the food from everyone else. You know, you, see, you only want this shit because you see me with it, nigga. Eat something else tonight, bro. You don't want this shit, bro. You're not hungry, bro. If not, then I seriously don't know why you're posting this I'm garbage in the to first place. It's the equivalent of posting a baby photo. Pointless. I think I'll give this one a low B tier. It could seriously drop to C tier, but I don't think it's that bad. And there we have it. That's the list. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. And for <laughs> anyone fact, wondering about the fact that thirst traps is the only S is so crazy. <laughs> Yo, thirst traps is the only S, bro. That's funny. The socials of any of the girls shown in. Yo, look at this freak. <laughs> video i'm sorry to say but they all literally deleted their accounts after i uploaded this i know crazy nothing i can do about it yo look at this freakazoid bro another w yo i like this guy man i like this guy go go show him some love man P panero i like this guy man this guy's pretty good they all milk too chat all milk is crazy. Like, not even one picture of Ruby Rose. Like, that's the least you could do. I can't get one pick of Ruby in that bitch. Damn.